We're back, and now for Snake for Nature documentary. <laughs> yeah, I was just mentioning, Mario mentioned that in his bathroom, it feels as though all the no, heat not... from outside transfers into... All right, one, two, three, go. Oh, shit. Uh, not in my bathroom, though, but in a public bathroom. Yeah, in a public bathroom, it's like all the heat from the outside transfers into the inside and gets contained. Well, I was mentioning... Oh my god, how do you grab this fucking thing? Oh. <gasps> oh. That looks weird. Um, oh, thank god. Checkpoints in this one. Not the last one. So, in Japan, oh, honeybees what? always have to worry about a predator called the Asian Giant Hornet. A group of 30 Asian Giant Hornets can massacre a colony of 30,000 bees. Okay. The so... More, the more you know... The no, American, that's not it. The American and European honeybees um, ha are completely defenseless against them, but the Japanese honeybees did manage to prepare a solution. Anytime um, an Asian giant hornet comes scouting an area and finds a hive for the, its hornet brethren to attack, the Japanese honeybees basically gather around into a spear of sorts and trap the hornet inside. And the bees generate heat that gets so hot that the hornet dies. The end. What about African, African bees? What? Oh, African bees? Yeah, you said American bees and, and Asian bees. What oh, about? I don't know about African bees. What about black bees? Black bees? Or, or apple bees. Oh, wait, that's a point. Apple bees? <laughs> <laughs> no, I go to apple bees to get myself some nice fancy Alfredo. What's with these fucking tires? Oh, I get it. I'm glad you do. How many fucking Eight. coins do we need? Fifteen? Oh, God. Fifteen thousand? No, fifteen. Thousand. Fifteen. <laughs> it's fifteen million. Get it right. Fifteen million. I would love to have fifteen million dimes. That shows my gram will forever love me. She draws me a dime every now and then. She she def she she will always forever love me, but eh. I wonder if I'll reach fifteen million dimes. <laughs> Probably not. That'll be one one point five million dollars. One point five million dot yeah. I don't know if I'll reach that, maybe I will. Yeah, I carry them all at once. All oh, I can't carry all that at once. In, in dimes. It's just like the Rugrats. They do their lemonade stands, and then when Angelica won't give them dimes, even though the babies can't really do anything with the money, they're still, regardless, they're like, We want dimes! We want dimes! We want dimes! Just like how Walmart and McDonald's employees protest. <laughs> I saw a good. I saw a good uh, thing about that. It's like, it says, but yeah, we'll stop asking for fifteen dollars an hour when you stop asking for stupid orders. <laughs> oh. Like, yes, I want an ice cream cone twi with, no, no, no I forget what he said, it was, it was pretty, fu pretty funny about how, yeah, this one lady complained about how their sugar, their sugar wasn't stirred up and their drink the right way, and then she said, you guys are $15 an hour, you can't stir, stir you guys can't stir sugar, you can't make my sugar, my tea right, like, shut up, bitch. Huh. Well, that's the thing with, like, working in restaurants and retail and all that. You're always going to get people who feel entitled. And you're just going to have to put up with it because you, that, is, that is their business. They got to get money. So. 
Screw customers are always right. Screw that. Screw that. What was his name? I'm not always right. No. Try going to the DMV. At the DMV, the employees are always right, never the customers. Y you'll hear, there's so many fucking horror stories of people who unfairly failed their driving tests. Like me. Unfairly? Unfairly, because it's like, basically the dri- There's a lot of cases where the driving instructors who test- who test the potential drivers, there's a lot of cases where they just decide to be a dick and fail them for bullshit reasons. Like you? Was it happened happen to you? Yeah. Tell us the story. Cool. I've told it, like, a lot of times. I mean, the first time is debatable, because... Um... Basically, what happened was there was a stop sign, and I couldn't see it because there was a truck parked on top of it. Literally? The only thing I consider it wrong is that the guy acted as though I was supposed to be able to see it when literally there was no way I could have seen it. That's some parking job right on top of the stop sign. Yeah. The, the truck parked on top of it because it was unloading liquor into the liquor store, and it was practically above on top of the line and you're not supposed to do that but the second time all bets were off he wrote me down for every little thing he could I like at a stoplight I was in a four-lane road um and the road in front of us, past the stoplight, was two lane. From where I was, I was in the middle left lane. So logically, anyone in the middle right lane goes in the right lane in front of them, and anyone in the middle left lane goes in the left lane in front of them. And then whoever's in the far left or far right makes a turn. So I'm in the middle left lane. Oh, I come go, on. I go, in, I go straight into the lane that's right in front of me. And I'm not making this up. This is what he said. Why are you going to the left lane? And that's what he sounded like, by the way. Um. And I'm like, um, because it was the lane right in front of me, left lane is for passing only. And guess what? He didn't even write that on my te on my paper, like the paper where they evaluate you. He claimed I merged into the left lane without looking. From, one, from what I get from that, he acted as though I switched over from the right lane to the left lane without doing a turn signal or looking. All I did was drive in the lane that was right in front of me. I mean, maybe there's some kind of legal crap where supposedly that is not something you're not supposed to do but no he wrote it down for a completely different reason than what he told me then the one thing he i mean he wrote me down for a multitude of other things but the one thing that made my dad get into a big argument with him was that he wrote me down for not stopping at a turn that had no stop sign if the turn doesn't have a stop sign sure you have to slow down but you don't have to stop My friend, in high school, there's like, like that. He didn't slow down at all. He just, he just, he just sped to the curb every every time. He tur sped turned I'm down my street. Oh, uh, well, that was the one thing that made my dad go on that guy's case. But obviously, we couldn't win, so. Because the DMV is always right. They Even then, it's, it ultimately ended up being a good thing that I don't drive, because my dad says me not having to pay the insurance is a really good thing, especially when my Graham died and he had to pay for the funeral. Not we're having to worry about me having car insurance or anything like that was really helping with that. I'm going to actually finally talk for once, because I haven't said anything for how long now? Um, if I wanted to actually fly or even get a permit, I'd have to pretty much pay for my own insurance. Which sucks. Apparently, apparently none of us drive right now. 
What do you do, what do you have to pay for? Insurance, because my parents uh, wouldn't be able to afford it. So. Oh, halfway point. Well, I think it's ultimately a good re Well, like I said, I think it's ultimately good that I don't drive right now because I don't have to make any of those payments. And, you know, for me, it's for the best, because even if I was able to drive, I would probably not go anywhere anyway, so I'm paying all that money for nothing. And gas money, too. Yeah! If I need to go somewhere, I just ask somebody to drive me, or I take the train, or, like, the bus, or a shuttle. Of course, that can be annoying sometimes. Or I walk! If I have to, I'll pay. I may pay for gas prices, even though I have yet to do that. But I'll do it if I need to at one point. I can't turn the camera. Never mind, I can. Mario two. Did you complete the fish level? Yeah. Where are you now? Getting all the quote unquote misfits. As Band they of misfits. <laughs> oh fuck. Huh? I Ow. said, oh, fuck, because I saw something. Oh, come on! What was I hit by a second time in a row? You were hit by it the second time in a row, because that's what the game's got to do to provide challenge. That's Skybox, though. What the fuck? Oh, the God. game doesn't want you to catch up with Snick. Wait, it, what? It, the game's in Snick's pocket now. Snick bribed the game to make sure you don't catch up with him. How do you bribe a program? Um, Susie managed to bribe Cartoon Network Racing. So and you're the like Susie to me right now? What, you're like my enemy or some shit? What? Is that what's going on? It, well, it is a race. By any means necessary. Oh, wait! Do I even need to get the- Oh, fuck, it's an acorn. No, not the acorns. Ow, fuck. Ow, goddamn. Ooh, a card. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes! Oh, oh shit, I'm not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to yell fuck? <laughs> no, I'm not supposed to fall to my death. Well, I mean, that's that's kind of a good thing, though, when they not haunt you, though. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Oh, my God! Bam, baby! Oh, no! Fucking shit! Thank God it was just like Rugrats Royal Rants where he falls on his ass and just gets back up. I wonder. <laughs> Shoot him oh, up! No, never want to keep him oh, down. Oh, that's how you shoot. Oh shit, the laser beam. No, the la razor blades of doom. Oh, you don't even need Razor aim. blades of doom. One hit steps are gonna happen. Oh shit. Yes. Oh god damn. Jesus Christ. Wonder if I'm not if I'm, we're gonna finish this tonight. Yeah, I doubt it. What do you want to stop after this video? Uh, yeah. No. No. I mean, do you want to or? I mean, if you want to, it's fine. No, I don't need to stop yet. I need to make sure I at least can catch up to you. Oh, fuck. How embarrassed I am because I'm a selfish father. <sighs> but now he's gonna kill his friends, the aliens. Heavy breathing intensifies. This is awkward. Oh fight. wow, now the sky actually is falling. <laughs> hey, spoilers. Well, that's what you get, Mario, for not winning on that spaceship level. 
It's not my fault the game was bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> like right there. Chicken Little was right all along. How did they do that, that by the way? Illusion? Quickly, let me look up on Google Chicken Little Speedrun strats. <laughs> They're not even playing the, the end of the world song. <laughs> they couldn't even get, afford that for the game. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Really? Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't damage me when I have one point left. One point of health. I can't believe I didn't talk for, like, a whole half mark of this fucking episode. Yeah, it's because I had to tell the story of why I don't drive for the millionth time. What the hell? First time for me. First time I, I heard it. Yeah, ultimately, but that's the thing with driving. If you don't... I don't feel comfortable driving to begin with. Like, it's just something about handling a big, bulky machine like that that I don't like. My friend is a truck driver now. Wow. He he, he got fat doing that. He, he gained like 50 pounds truck driving. Wow. Huh. Well, like Pickle Boy of Inga Grandpa fame says, if you don't want to drive, don't. Copyright infringement. I want. I do want to want to drive. I I I. Look it up. I hate being dependent on other people. Few places. Being stuck. Wait, we control the turkey? <laughs> That's the mayor of this town? What the fuck was that? I pressed square in midair when I was right next to the thing and it didn't count. It's Thanksgiving! Who wants We're, control We're doing more damage than the aliens would have! Oh no! I want some stuffing in now with turkey. What the fuck? I mean, you know what? Fuck that area then. That area can go fuck itself. Better not be required, too. We just destroyed the famous acorn tree of Oaky Oaks. Or Oaky ah, Oaks. Oaky Oaks. Ah, it's okay, I'll respawn. Oh my god. Okay, good. Keep no more aliens, the town's destroyed. No, fuck. Oh, never mind. Now we have to destroy it some more. <laughs> Be a hero, kid. Destroy your hometown. I need a hero. Oh wait, that's Shrek too. <laughs> Is that the good Shrek? What? Is that the good Shrek? Yeah, that's a good Shrek. <laughs> Another Shrek crossover. Yourself you Shrek yourself. What happened, Shrek? <laughs> I said you better check yourself before you Shrek yourself. You better check it. Oh no! <laughs> These oh, fucking yeah. ships, will they fucking die? No. Maybe. Nah. <laughs> oh, charge! Oh, fuck. Go ahead, make my day, aliens! Aren't you aliens in the aliens? Are you aliens in the attic? <laughs> I don't even know that reference. It's a really crappy movie. Yay, crappy movies. Where the sidewalk ends. Oh, what was that? It fucking just screwed me. Wow. And the, okay. And the Fuck thing that. that I and the thing that I saw on Mulberry Street. Wow. What? Climb, climb. Who's Thank driving you. the truck? 15, 17, Things. 16, People. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, the sky five, is falling. The four, sky is falling. three, <laughs> two, one. Time. Wait, uh, wait. Uh, All right, stop, Mario. <laughs> Mario, uh, stop. Yes. Well, am I uh, caught up? No. But did I beat the hard as fuck level? Thank God I did. Oh! Will I catch up at this point? Probably not. But we'll see. Well, stay Maybe. tuned.